Well, I'm going to make a project for my beautiful new book, Tiny Worlds and Fabric. I wrote this book last year. My parents would be so proud. They would never admit it, though. Stoic Lithuanians. I think I'm going to make this little bathtub. What do you think? With water inside. <laughs> So here's my fabric sandwich, which is made by fusing two pieces of fabric on either side of Fast Diffuse. And here's my bathtub pattern on cardstock. I always draw the lines onto the cardstock and I fold them so that you can fold them up just like I did there to draw in the lines. It makes it so easy to transfer the lines onto the fabric. So you cut out the pieces, and when I cut down the middle of the tub, I leave those pieces attached by a few threads. It just makes it easier to keep track of them. So when I'm ready to sew, I cut them apart, and I zigzag down the middle to connect the two pieces. And I just continue all the way around. Since the top two edges need to be zigzagged, it makes it much easier than just zigzagging the two top edges. It's just easier to go all the way around. Only takes a minute. So once those have been zigzagged, I'm going to fold that in half and then zigzag the sides, back stitching at the beginning and the end. Now I paint my fabric because I love the look of it. It gives it this sort of an antique kind of a look, distressed look that I really like. You don't have to do that if you don't have to, if you don't want to use paints. You can just use the type of fabric that you want for the bathtub. There's a lot of different options. So I'm sewing up the sides, and then once I sew up the sides, I'm going to turn it inside out, and it gives it a beautiful round shape, just like a bathtub. Now I sew the beads on for the feet, because I have beads that look just like a claw foot. They're in the shape of a shell. And I sew those on first before I paint it. The only reason I do that is because it's hard to push the sewing needle through the paint. So I find it easier just to sew the feet on before I paint. Now, when I'm painting, I actually use my hands quite a bit as I'm painting it. I get the paint on my hands and I spread it around sometimes with my fingers. So. This step, of course, you can skip if you're just using white fabric or whatever color you want for the tub, and if you don't want to get involved in the painting. I personally love the look of it, so that's why I do it, and I've included the steps here. So if any paint gets on those beads, it's very easy just to wipe it off. So I paint the outside, and then I'm going to paint the inside of it. So I use a fabric paint that is very inexpensive. I use fabric paint instead of acrylic paint, only because it has a softener in it, and it makes it a little bit softer. Acrylic paint gets kind of rigid when it dries, which would be totally okay for this. So here it is. It's so cute. Now I do glue those feet in place because they end up w being really wobbly. They just collapse when you put the tub down. So now for an extra wow factor, you can paint the inside of the tub blue and I cut a piece of acetate and put it in there. Makes it look just like real water.